Went ahead and removed the tire. We removed these covers in here so you can get access to the crankshaft and the alternator, which is actually back behind there. So you have to remove this cover right here. And if you can see that right there, remove this cover. Then up at the top, just to make it a little easier, we, we went ahead and just lifted up the coolant overflow bottle and we tied back the power steering pump. And now we have full access to. Okay, we're trying here with some light. I know it's uh, the light's pretty bad, but there's about seven pulleys here, and uh, just like all serpentine belts, they have to be in the right diagram. And a lot of times, you can put a serpentine belt on and it fits, but the water pump is spinning backwards. And if you do that on these types of cars, it could cause an airlock and actually cause trouble with the motor. So just because the serpentine belt fits doesn't mean that it's on the correct way. That's why you should always follow the diagram. And we're going to show you in a little while here the diagram that we use. But since I only have two hands, I'd love to have four. I'm going to have to get in here and do this, and then we'll get back and finish up everything. So we're at the final stages of putting this belt on, and I may, this may seem like a nuisance when you're doing it because a lot of times when you read those guides, it says just, you know, take the belt off and put it back on the same way you took it off. But unfortunately, when you go to do it, it doesn't seem to work that way. In this case, I'll show you a couple of things that you may seem this crazy that you have to do, but for one, right there where I'm, where I'm holding the light at, that bolt has to be removed because the belt has to go behind that. So that's one bolt that has to come off. Number two, there is a ground strap that comes across here to the frame. That has to be removed. And the bolt that we're removing right now, here you take that. So the other one that we're removing is, since the, the belt has to ride behind all this, and this is the power steering pump and go up here, obviously it can't go over the belt. So, you know, anything that falls in the way of that, you have to remove. And I know it seems like a nuisance to do, but... You know, when you go to a repair shop and they tell you it's two hundred and thirty dollars to put your belt on, this could be why, yeah. because they're they're actually removing a lot of things that really shouldn't have to be removed. But since Volvo thought this would be real nice to screw with people, uh, this is what they did. <laughs> but uh, it, thanks to the efforts of uh, Eddie and Jake, uh, we're going to overcome all of that and still charge a reasonable rate for changing a belt.